Hi, I am Engineer Shahzad Khan. In the previous video, we have discussed the quantity estimation of single room by using long wall and short wall method. The link of that video is given in the description below. In this video, the quantity estimation of the same plan of single room having internal length of 5 meter and width of 4 meter by using center line method is discussed. From the given plan, we need to find earth work in excavation in foundation, concrete in foundation, brick work in foundation in plin and brick work in superstructure by using center line method is discussed. Now what we do in center line method, we find all the center line length of the given plan and add all them together to get the total center line length of the plan. Look at to the plan, the center to center length of long wall is 5.3 meter and short wall center to center length is 4.3 meter. So add all of the center line that is 5.3 meter plus 4.3 meter plus 5.3 meter plus 4.3 meter. So the total center line become 19.2 meter. Now the earthwork in excavation and foundation in this method we deal with the center line so the number is equal to 1. So the length of the center line is equal to 19.2 meter. The width of the footing in excavation is 0.9 meter. The height or depth of excavation from the ground level is 0.9 meter. So the total quantity of excavation is equal to 1 multiply 19.2 multiply 0.9 multiply 0.9 so the total quantity of excavation will be equal to 15.55 cubic meter clearly for the concrete in foundation that is one in number because in center line method we deal with only one center line that is 19.2 meter the width of concreting is equal to 0.9 meter and the thickness of concreting is equal to 0.3 meter. So the total quantity of concrete in foundation will be equal to 1 multiply 19.2 multiply 0.9 multiply 0.3. So the total quantity of concrete will be equal to 5.184 cubic meter. Now the brickwork in foundation in plain for the first footing we have only one center line that is 19.2 meter. The width of foundation in first footing is 0.6 meter and the thickness of foundation at first footing is 0.3 meter. So the total quantity of brickwork in first footing is equal to 1 multiply 19.2 multiply 0.6 multiply 0.3 so the total quantity of brickwork will be equal to 3.456 cubic meter similarly for the brickwork in foundation for the second footing we have only one center line that is 19.2 meter the width of foundation in second footing is 0.5 meter and the thickness of foundation in second footing is 0.3 meter so the total quantity of brickwork will be equal to 1 multiply 19.2 multiply 0.5 multiply 0.3. So the total quantity of brickwork in second footing will be equal to 2.88 cubic meter. Now the brickwork in foundation and plinth, we have one center line that is 19.2 meter. The width at plinth level is equal to 0.4 meter and the height of plinth wall is equal to 0.6 meter. So the total quantity of brickwork in plinth wall will be equal to 1 multiply 19.2 multiply 0.4 multiply 0.6. So the total quantity of brickwork in plinth wall will be equal to 4.61 cubic meter. So add all of the brickwork in foundation that is 3.46 cubic meter plus 2.88 cubic meter plus 4.61 cubic meter. So the net quantity of brickwork in foundation is equal to 10.95 cubic meter. Now the brickwork in superstructure we have the center line length 
that is 19.2 meter the width of the wall at superstructure is 0.3 meter and the height of the wall is 3.5 meter the total quantity of brickwork and superstructure will be equal to 1 multiply 19.2 multiply 0.3 multiply 3.5 that will be equal to 20.16 cubic meter